Hello everyone, and welcome to the Anchor Drive Series Grain Quality Control Topic of the Week. My name is Clint Walker, and today's topic is low temperature grain drying. Low temperature grain drying involves using supplemental heat to lower the humidity of the air to dry grain at a desired target moisture. This allows more fan runtime during any part of the day, but the relative humidity would be typically above 65%. For this drying to be successful, the grain mass needs to be fairly level across the bin to have more even airflow. Once the grain is level in the bin, the grain is not moved until the drying front is pushed to the grain at the top of the bin. With less handling of the grain and lower drying temperatures, there are less stress cracked and broken kernels than what high temperature drying would impose. This ensures that the quality of the grain does not diminish during its storage life. With the bullseye controller automating the heater operation only when needed, it prevents over drying the grain at the bottom of the bin. This eliminates the need for a stirrator to pull the dry grain up to the top of the bin or a sweep auger to continually move the, the bottom layer of dry grain. The low temperature heater is usually vapor propane or natural gas. You should be able to purchase the low temperature heaters from your local bin dealer or with the help of AgriDry we can help locate that equipment in your area. The heaters can be installed as a downstream type that would mount in between the fan transition and the actual or centrifugal fan. The other option is the upstream type where the heater is mounted to the inlet of the centrifugal fan. If it, if it is a new burner that you are ordering, you can order the heater without controls, meaning no thermostat or humidistat needed. The AgriDry Bullseye will control the heater automatically without these controls. If it's the existing heater that the AgriDry is controlling, the existing thermostat or controls can be disconnected, jumpered out, or turned all the way up depending on the heater. The only way to control the low temperature heater efficiently is to operate with a bullseye controller. The bullseye controller is always monitoring the outside air temperature and relative humidity. The EMC is calculated to determine the moisture of the air, which stands for equilibrium moisture content. This is the first criteria that the controller uses to determine if the heater needs to run to remove moisture out of the air. Before it cycles the heater, the controller is also monitoring the inside conditions with a temperature cable. With the temperature cable just touching the floor, which is a must for operating the heater, the number one sensor records the temperature difference from the outside air temperature. This difference comes from changes in the weather, temperature rise from the fan warming effect, or temperature rise from the heater operation. This calculation is called the CEMC value, which stands for the corrected equilibrium moisture content. If both the EMC and the CEMC values are more than a half a point of moisture above the target moisture setting, the heater will cycle until the temperature rise on the number one sensor in the grain shows the CEMC value a half a point below your target moisture. This temperature rise will be no more than 10 degrees above the outside air temperature per cycle and usually much less. Now remember, the low temperature heaters are not designed to heat up the air for below freezing conditions. Just like any forms of natural air drying, you should never operate the fans or heaters when the outside air temperature is consistently below freezing temperatures. For more information about low temperature drying, please contact AgriDry at 1-855-AgriDry. That's all for this week and we'd like to thank you for joining AgriDry's Grain Quality Control Topic of the Week. And remember, here at AgriDry, grain quality is not an option. Drive.